Hello everyone. In today's video, I will demonstrate the new web day scanning feature in Application Extender 16.3. Our team here at Revolution Data Systems is excited to bring these short tutorials directly to you. I'll be working within the Chrome browser today, but all of the popular web browsers are supported and will function in the same way. Before we get started, there is a prerequisite we need to take care of. You will need to have the Captiva Cloud Runtime Utility installed on your computer. If your scanner is less than two or three years old, there's a good chance that this utility is an option on your installation disk. If you no longer have the install disk that came with your scanner, or it just simply is not on the disk, you can download the Captiva Cloud Runtime Utility from our support site. Go to www.revolutiondatasystems.com Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the technical support link. A new tab will open up. Go to our knowledge base link and under the How To section, you will see the Captiva Cloud Runtime Downloads link. Click that and install the latest version. So I will click this to initiate the download. And we'll save it on our computer. Once the download is complete, Go ahead and unzip it. Install the proper version for your operating system. So I'm on a Windows 10 computer. So I'm going to run the setup.exe file in the Windows folder. The install is pretty straightforward. Click on the Next button, accept the licensing terms, click on Next. You can leave the Disable Remote Access uh, option enabled. Click Next and Install. So that's all there is to getting the utility on your system. So once we've taken care of that, we can jump into Application Extender to see the web scanning feature. So go ahead and log into the system. Before we can, uh, one, other, uh, one other item we need to take care of. So before we scan a new document in, you'll want to go up to the, your username in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Click on User Settings, and under the Import section, you want to make sure that the Enabled Scanning uh, option is checked. If, if you cannot get in, into the User Settings, contact your AX Administrator, and they can select this option on your behalf. Once that's selected, we're ready to scan a document. So click on the New Document button. Okay. Okay, once the scanner button becomes active, we'll need to select our driver because it's not initially loaded. So you will select the button here, give access, the web application access to your scanner. So go ahead and click allow select the proper driver. I have a Fujitsu FI5110C on my desktop, so I will select the recommended ISIS driver and click on OK. Once I do that, I will be able to select the different options of my scanner. So from the shortcut menu here, I can select black and white, grayscale or color, 
I could select the automatic document theater mode in uh, simplex or duplex, select my page size and resolution, or I can click on the gears and go into uh, more advanced features of my scanner. So I'm going to leave the default set to black and white letter 300 dots per inch. I'm going to put a piece of paper in the feeder of my scanner and click on the scan button. So the scanner is scanning right now. Once the scan is complete, the image will show up in the document viewer window. So then we index our document as normal. Select the fields that are required. And this is a W4. So if I start typing W, select that and click Save. If I'd like to add an additional page to this, uh, to this document, I can put my piece of paper back in the scanner, go to Page, New, Scan, and I can append that scan to uh, the end of my document, or I can insert this uh, new scanned image before or after the page that I'm looking at. So we'll choose the Insert Before. It's the same document, so I'm going to go from a one-page document to a two-page document. Okay, there we go, page one and page two. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please check out our other videos for uh, tips and, feature and new features in the Application Extender 16.3 uh, software suite. Thank you very much.